Hi, my name is not Alicia, you can call me Anna. Yesterday I finally finished reading The Two Towers in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It took me a really long time to get through it. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat that. It really did take a while to get through this book. I think mainly because there is a lot of description in this book. So I just wanted to make a quick review video because I finally have finished it. The first thing that I do wanna say is that there is so much description in this book that I at times didn't know if I was actually gonna be able to continue. It was so hard to read some parts of it. Normally, okay, normally I am a really visual person so when I read a book usually I can sit in my head and if they describe the character or the location, things like that, I can see it in my head. When they are describing things in this book there's so much description that it just confuses me and I end up not being able to picture anything and that I think was one of the huge problems that I had with the book was just that there was way too much description and I, and I couldn't figure out what things looked like and without some sort of like image in my head because I am a very visual person it was hard to keep reading because normally when I read I see things and now I just sound like a crazy person don't I? Point being too much description it was really hard to get through that. The other thing is this is actually made up of two books technically it says book one and book two. Book one is all about like Aragorn, Gandalf and all of those other guys and then book two we meet up with Frodo and Sam again and as they're just going on their journey to Mordor just chilling across the countryside. When it came to book two and it was all Frodo and Sam, I was just like, okay, oh, Frodo and Sam until the end of this book. That's a lot of walking. How on earth? Like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out in my mind. I was like, how are you gonna write that? Just them traveling for half of this book. How does it? Anyway, as much as it did daunt me, it wasn't actually as bad as I was expecting it to be because I did have Gollum tagging along as well and then they did meet up with other people like Faramir, who is amazing, by the way. So it wasn't actually as hard to read as I thought it would be in the second half of the book. I think I did say this in my video about the Fellowship of the Rings, so the first book, but I actually, I, I loved seeing the differences between Aragorn in the books and Aragorn in the films. If you go and watch the films and watch Aragorn, he's just a a ranger and then it's like oh well actually you're descended you're Zilda's heir and you have to be king we need you so you need to be king and Aragorn's kind of like well I don't really want to do it but I'll help you guys out so okay I'll do it whereas in the books Aragorn is coming he's coming out of the wild from being a ranger he's got the sword he's ready he gets the sword reforged and he's on his way like he is ready to be king I just that is such a huge distinctive character trait that they completely got wrong in the films it doesn't make sense to me that they thought yeah it's okay, we'll get away with it. That's a huge part of his character, the fact that he's ready. On the topic of things different from the books and the films, I really love Faramir in the books a lot more than in the films. Like, I liked him in the films as well because he's such a great character. But we've met him so far in the book where Frodo and Sam were found by Faramir and Faramir's basically just being a really great guy. He's a man of integrity, he's really listening to them and I just think that in the film Faramir seems really paranoid and he doesn't trust them at all and he just he doesn't know what to believe whereas reading it in the book it felt like Faramir was listening to them he might have considered for like a briefest moment of taking the ring but never like seriously thinking and like brooding like what if I took this ring and then my father would be happier with me and then we could have a better relationship like no he doesn't do that he laughs in the book he's he just laughs about it he's like yeah well I'm not gonna take the ring stay true to my word I said I wouldn't take it so I don't know I just really love Faramir. My sister would always tell me Faramir is amazing and I was like yeah that's great I know he's great but I never understood just how great he is until now. Yeah so read this book. If you haven't read The Lord of the Rings either and you're just watching this video then well you should go and read them. The last big thing I want to mention in this video this is a really terrible review video and I apologize for that but I just don't know what else to say. Anyway my last main point is Sam. I love Sam. I can't even express how much much. I love Sam. I always loved him when I watched the films and I loved him in book one but reading book two really just made me love him even more. He's just a gardener and he just overheard a conversation at the wrong moment and then he's thrust on this adventure and he's just following after his master and trying to do what's right and trying to help and he doesn't trust Gollum. That's good because Gollum is bad but still he doesn't get to like help and then like Frodo and then he thinks he's dead and then he's not dead and Sam's like what have I done? 
fun! Honestly, I don't even know how to put this into words. From my ramble, I'm sure you can understand. I have a lot of feelings on this topic. I just think Sam is so incredible and so loyal and so strong, even though he doesn't think that he's brave or anything. But when he thinks Frodo is dead, he's literally willing to take the ring to Mordor himself. Like he gets up and he goes and he starts walking away and he's like, I can't go back to the Shire. I have to go on. And then like he doubts himself when he is really afraid and I would be afraid too. So I feel like I can really relate to him, but oh my goodness, he keeps on going and it's just amazing. I just love Sam. There's just not enough Sam appreciation in the world. Now that I have told you a bit about the things I loved, I'm just gonna wrap this up with just an overall, I really loved this book. It was really hard to read. Sometimes I would pick it up, start reading and put it down and be like, no, because I just, it was so hard <laughs> to get through. I've actually got the last one. So the Return of the King here and it's thicker, just a bit. It's a smidge thicker than the Two Towers. So I really hope that it is not as hard to read as the Two Towers, but hopefully it will be good. I just find that the actual story itself, like this Hobbit just going on this impossible mission to Mordor is just so good and so captivating that that's really what got me through reading this book. I don't think that I ever fully comprehended just how incredible and intricate the story was before when what just watching the films. I don't feel like the films can express that enough. So I'm really glad that I'm delving into the books and getting all this other stuff and reading even about the Silmarils when they're mentioned briefly. And now I just want to go read the Silmarillion. I hope this review video has been somewhat useful for you. I really recommend reading these books, even though I haven't finished them yet. I know they are amazing. I did also review this book on Goodreads. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description. And to finish off this video, I just want to leave you with my favorite quote from the book. Up to the top, I say. He'll be safe there. Will he? Said Sam. You're forgetting the great big elvish warrior that's loose. And that is my favorite quote from the book. If you haven't read it, you probably won't have a clue what is going on there. But if you have read the book and you do know what I'm talking about, you'll understand why that's my favorite quote. I just love it. It's great. It's it's just great. If you'd like to see my review video for The Fellowship of the Ring, I'll put that link in the description so you can go check that out. As well as I mentioned my review on Goodreads for The Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers. You can also see on Goodreads where I'm at at the moment with reading The Return of the King. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and hit subscribe if you'd like to be notified of when I upload new videos. Ciao for now monkeys!